hey guys welcome back to my channel before we get started i just want to give a quick shout out and say thanks so much for being the first to comment on my last video so for today's video we'll be using my square extra short soft gel full nail covers as always these nail covers are available for purchase on my etsy shop and i'll be sure to have the link down below so you just want to go in and size them and make sure that they fit your nails wall to wall um, I always size out my nails before I begin applying just because I feel like it helps the process go much faster and quicker. Um, and if you're in between sizes, this specific set has 12 different sizes. Uh, but if you are in, in between sizes, always opt for the bigger one and use a file to size to your exact shape. So we'll also be using my solid nail tip glue gel for this video as well. This is also available for purchase in my Etsy shop and the link is down below. Um, I am currently running out of stock and restock probably won't be until towards the end of February, which I know is like crazy long and I apologize for the inconvenience. Sorry y'all, that was my dog. Um, I apologize for the inconvenience, but um yeah it's just sold out super fast so i'm getting it back in stock as soon as possible you guys absolutely love this product and i'm so glad you do because i love it too it's my go-to now it's either this or poly gel for me because both processes are fast poly gel takes definitely longer than this process so this is like my number one go-to but um yeah it's really easy as you can see all i do is go in and scoop a pea size amount out uh press it down and apply it to my nails as you can see here, I can do four nails at once and then go in with my UV LED light and cure. And since this is a clear adhesion product, clearing, or not clearing, excuse me, curing time is very short. It takes about, honestly, only 30 seconds to cure. To be safe though, I always cure for one minute. And as always, you do wanna do your thumb separately So now we're going to go in with a nail file and shape the nails. This is an 80-80 grit nail file. It is down below in my links. This is available for purchase on Amazon. And this is listed in my storefront. Um, but as you can see, it, I, it cut out a little bit. But the filing process is really short anyway because your nails are pre-shaped for you. For polish, we're using two different polishes. This is the first layer. This polish is by Nails Cat Cat, and I believe this is in their shade Naked or Frenchy. It's one or the other, but I showed you the number at the bottom, so I'm assuming the numbers line up. But as you can see here, I'm not going in doing your typical, like applying it as a gel polish method. For these nails, I'm going in and I'm applying it as if it are it is a builder base. This is a rubber uh, nail. This is a rubber nail polish. Um, so it's it's very thick. It's thicker than your average gel polish. So you can build it up as if this were a builder. And that's exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm building it up and I did two layers of this polish. And as you can see here, I do have a little hack where I go in and I swipe on the sides and that just helps eliminate the bulkiness on the sides of your nails. You, you'll notice when you start doing that, when you are doing gel polish, it really like changes the nail shape. It really like eliminates bulkiness and you never even notice until you start doing it. So hot tip, definitely recommend giving it a try.
So here's what it looks like after two coats. Now for the shine metallic part that you're probably interested in how I achieved it. I used this shade by OPI. Um, I think it's called, I don't give me some line. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. You can see it on the bottle here, but it's in the shade something pearl. <laughs> and what I did was I went in and did a layer of that. And then I did a minimal layer of the other gel polish, the nails cat cat polish on top. Like I applied it as if it were a regular gel polish, just a really quick sheen layer over top of the white pearl. All right, so now after that's finished, I'm going in with my final top coat. I'm using Model One's top coat, and as always, this is also available for purchase on Amazon. This is my all-time favorite top coat. Um, I love this top coat mainly because it actually stays shiny for a, a while. I'm looking at my nails now, and it's been over a week, and it looks just as shiny as it did when I applied it, so that says a lot. Okay, so now we're going to apply some bling. Very minimal, not doing too much. Just a little extra oomph. Um, I'm using this Drill Point Nail Rhinestone Adhesion Pen. It's a two-in-one, so you get the Drill Point tip. And you can also unscrew it and apply it as if it were like a gel polish. Um, and I typically never ever use that. I really just use it for the Drill Point tip. And I'm using some silver rhinestones, and I'm just applying... Uh, the smallest rhinestone I can find at the base of my nail. Super easy and it takes about 30 seconds to cure. You do want to cure this um, after applying because this is a gel and not like a, a super glue. So you do have to cure this. You do have to cure the stones in place. So last and final step, cuticle oil. This is my ultra hydrating cuticle oil. I definitely recommend investing in a really good cuticle oil. And here's the final look. Super easy, super cute, minimal design. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I'll be sure to catch you in my next video. Bye!